Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about uh, a recently launched service by AWS, that is AWS Application Composer, and it is still in the preview mode. So, but just uh, latest feature it is there in which we can, like uh, people, those who want to uh, visually compose some serverless applications so they can utilize this and it will also create the infrastructure as a code behind the scenes. So it's very interesting thing. So just, I wanted to just show you this uh, latest service that is being added. So before we proceed, uh, it will help you to like uh, drag and drop uh, interfaces there in which you can easily uh, drag and drop your elements, whatever you want. And uh, we can connect those resources and which are the valid connections and all it will automatically guide you. A very nice interface is there. And we can also follow the best practices. So we can start building our project. We can have a, a blank project. If you're already having a cloud formation template, we can utilize that one also. So visually we can also do, even in the cloud formation, there is an option uh, is there in order to uh, drag and drop those components, but this one is much easier from the application point of view. So we can visually define, organize, and connect AWS resources. So we can build our template, edit the code, test your template, and deploy to a particular environment, whichever we want. So many people like, you know, they are like uh, quite handy with the CLI. Some people want to use uh, console. So it depends. So it gives you both the features side by side. So visual display as well as infrastructure as a code is being created automatically behind. So I will just do a uh, create a project, but uh, okay, let me create a project. So then I will open a demo. So before we creating a project, you can see there's a new blank project and it should be a connected local file system connection mode. So I will just select one folder that I've already been created. Yes. It should be empty folder, otherwise it will give you some errors. So you need to click on view files. And here we go. So create, save changes. So this is the interface, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, now you can see over here, you can go through the guide if you want. So this is the whole canvas in which I'll be dragging and drop. If you have a template, you can utilize this and you can drag and drop anywhere. And you can click on this arrange, so it will arrange here all the um, resources basically. So let's say if I'm taking some, um, let's say Lambda function. So you can see over here, it gives you the details. So you can see your function ID, package type, source path, and you can also define the runtime if you want to take it. Let's say Python 3.9 and architecture handler. So memory, how when it's timeout and all, you can also define it and save it. Similarly, like suppose if you want multiple Lambda functions, you can have it over here. You can delete also, you can group also. So if you select both of them and you can just click group together, you can see single one. So I'll just uh, remove the group, ungroup. So you need to select both of them. And then you can just group. So now they both are coming into one group. So this you can easily do. So you can define multiple groups. So just I'm removing this ungroup this. Now suppose if I want to have a, let's say S3 bucket or Lambda function, or if I want to have a DynamoDB table. So you can have it if you click on S3. So you can see the bucket activate static web thread hosting also that also you can do it in your bucket so directly it will create that resource and block public access that is by default now i'm talking so much about it let me go to my visual studio so you can see this template over here 
so it's getting automatically created so basically i have opened that folder in my visual studio code so you can see uh lambda function one the first one and the runtime and besides timeout tracing all those things are there then the second lambda function then i have s3 bucket bucket name i can define it by default it's picking up those uh, parameters over there and then kms key public access block configuration so these things are coming automatically you can see over here then the dynamic db table so let me let me make some change over here let's say uh, let's say if i go to the table over here so i can define my table name let's say uh, students oops yes So you can see over here and partition ID let's say SID anything you can define it just, just as a demo how to use it sort key also you can define it sort key name let's say S name and you can save it now once you have done this one I just drag my table over here. You can see now if I go to my code over here, you can see it's so quick. So you can see the students table, SID, attribute S. Uh, these attributes are being defined over here, key schema and all. So it's very, very fast. So automatically it generates. Now suppose if I want to link this Lambda function, you can see if I click on this one, so it's uh, so you can see we cannot connect this to sources. You can see where to where we can connect. And okay, now you can see over here, just click it over here in the blue dot. You can see it's highlighting from where to where you can connect. This Lambda output should be connected to the Lambda input. You can connect, you can connect to a bucket. So I'm just connecting to this one, the students. So this is how I can connect to my second Lambda function. You need to make sure you're clicking in the center one over here. And a little bit, I need to zoom in. So you can drag and drop here and if you have like uh, this lambda function you can even connect to your s3 bucket so this is how we can like uh, you can have it and if you're having some apis you can i also have api over here so you can define an api gateway and you can define the methods and you can connect to the Lambda function. Recently, I have done one example for the APIs. So that's why I'm showing you this one. You can have API gateway and then you can uh, connect to a Lambda function that will, uh, that we can call a, like um, a DynamoDB table and all. So there's one good thing, like we can click on this arrange, so it will automatically arrange this thing. Now this whole thing, like suppose if you want to group it up, you can just use the shift and you can just click on each components and you can just uh, group together so but the lambdas you can group not that um, dynamo db and all so you can see we can group and we can have it over here see we can change the group name we can go into the details, so you can put it over here. Uh, my Lambda, and I can save it. Oh, my logic or whatever I want, I can write it over here. Now, if you see your infrastructure, the code, you can see 
this. So there is some metadata is also there. It is just showing your Lambda. Basically, it is creating a uh, metadata when you create a group. So this whole code is getting created automatically. So that's the main functionality. That's the main feature. You can have a, a visual, visually composer for uh, serverless application. Plus, you can as a side by side, you can generate a infrastructure as a code also. So you can uh, just uh, there is deployment and all that. We can talk it in the later videos. So just uh, just a small example. I just wanted to show you how we can use this uh, visual compose visual composer or visually compose your application composer from the AWS that has been recently launched. So it is in the preview mode. So once it is uh, available fully with all the features, there is like suppose if you're searching something, let's say uh, these are few resources are given. Let's say I want root 53. So you can add a feedback over here, what resources are being required. So they will add those resources. Those are not currently available. So depending upon the feedback from the user, they will keep on adding over here. Now, the next thing is like, let's say I will create one more folder. So in order to open one uh, demo project, in order to show you just a simple example. So let me okay let's let's create while so i can just go to the menu open or create a new bank project or an existing one or better we can go to the the main console over here aws application So you can see open demo over here. So you need to again select a folder because it will be uh, keeping all your files. So I'm just creating a PP uh, demo AWS. Okay, we file basically checks whether it's empty or not. Create, save changes. So you can uh, see over here, I will just, uh, actually, I don't have a mouse now. Actually, I'm using the, you can just press the control button and you can just scroll it down in order to arrange this item and all. So I'll just uh, reduce the size from here. So you can see over here, we are having uh, API with having some uh, posts and get methods uh, put and delete so you can see post get items so it is connected with that particular lambda function over here and these are the items it is basically getting from the DynamoDB table depending upon the api uh, methods that are being called with a get post put delete so accordingly this lambda functions are being evoked and it it pulls those values from the pull or put or pull, delete those values from the DynamoDB table. So let me check in my Visual Studio code. So I will open that particular uh, directory over here. So it was app demo AWS. So let me just uh, open the folder. So you can see over here uh, the whole package list items, update items. Everything is here. Now this is of course a, a, a demo project. So we cannot see the whole template over here. We can click over here. And this one, we need to open it. You can see either you can utilize the built-in uh, this one or we can, I think I just make some mistake over here. I just open the source folder or something. Okay, let me open again. So you can see over here your template. So you can see API gateways, all the APIs, then the DynamoDB and all timeout and all is there. 
uh, memory size is there. Everything is mentioned over here. So it, it will be in the root directory of that particular folder, this whole template, or you can view it from here. It's your wish. So everything is mentioned over here. So if you click back on the canvas, so you will get it back over here. So this is a group being created, API compute, and these are the Lambda functions. You can see the details. Let's say if I click on the list items, if you can click on the details, you can see logical ID, list items, then source path, then infrastructure, then architecture over here, memory size, provisions, permissions are also being added, and the environment variables. DynamoDB read policy only added. I am permissions that are being given. So as it's quite interesting, we can add those permissions and all those things. Now, if you if you go to the create one, if I click on the details, so you can see uh, DynamoDB write policy is being given. Uh, if I click on the get item again, there will be read policy. I just need to click and you can see DB write and DB code policy is there. So this is how we can utilize it. And these are the APIs. And if you go to the details over here, you can see over here, roots, get items. So these all methods are being defined post, get, and uh, what is the path and what is the parameter being added. So we can add, remove the roots from here. And DynamoDB table, that is items. You can see the partition key and all those things are being defined. So this is how we can use this application composer. Just an introduction uh, with a demo and just a small demo and how we can utilize these resources, how we can create this, uh, how we can visually compose this serverless uh, uh, whole application. Uh, you can just have a quick look into this from the Amazon if you want. Uh, in future, it will be quite interesting, like uh, how we can um, maintain a model of our architecture for sharing and building. So we can easily use this one. So these are the use cases, uh, new serverless applications if you want to create and those manage those applications to IAC for each service in the architecture. So day by day, it will be getting improved this composure part. Uh, multiple resources will be getting listed over here. So I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.